Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel after a long long time. I'm sorry but today I will show you how to make a run cycle animation. If you want to see more tutorials feel free to write it in the comments and subscribe for more animations. In this tutorial I will show you two ways how to animate a running animation. At the beginning we have to draw the first frame of the run cycle animation and then the middle frame. Then we copy the first frame and paste it as the last one. After that we just fill in the in-betweens. This animation principle is also called pose to pose and is a method you should definitely use in your animation as well. The important thing with run cycle animation is that you draw fewer frames than with a walk animation and you draw the legs and arms more stretched so that the figure looks faster when running. When you are done with that, you have actually already finished the run cycle animation and only have to go to the frame viewer and copy and paste the animation as many times as you need. After that I just changed some drawings so that the arms don't look so stiff but more dynamic. Now I want to show you the second method on how to make a run cycle animation. I delete the copied images in the frame viewer and then animate the same as in the first part. This method takes a little bit longer but looks even better. Because with the first method I animated only one half of a whole run cycle animation. So now I draw the second half and it will be drawn a little bit different but in the end it makes it more realistic because a figure doesn't always move the same way. As you can see it looks even more fluid now. At the end I want to show you how you can add wind effects to your run cycle animation like you might see them sometimes in one of my animations. For the wind effects take a thin grey pen and draw small strokes on a layer that is behind the character and make about four different pictures of the wind effects. After that you can add thinner strokes to make the effects look even better. Finally, Copy the different wind effects images and paste them into your whole run cycle animation. Oh, yeah. 
Now I just deleted two frames to make the figure run a little faster, but you can decide for yourself how fast the figure will move in your animation. Last but not least, of course, I add the head by clicking once with the pen and making the head bigger with the lasso, the way I like it the most. And that's it for today's video, I hope it helped you and don't forget to subscribe to learn more about animations and see more animations I made.